Welcome to the wormhole, where keeping it real is expected. There are a couple million podcasts you can be tuned into, but you chose to take this journey with us. And for that, we thank you. Without further ado, The Wormhole with Tim and Troy. Let's pivot to BS High. Let's pivot. You know, got to get a little small talk out of the way. Yeah, let's pivot to BS High. Bishop hey, Sycamore High. Bishop Documentary. Go now, well, well, I want I want you to give me yours first because I want to see. Because, I mean, I watched it. I literally took notes because I want to, you know. So let's see I ain't taking no up. notes, but I done watched that shit two times. I'm going to tell you why I don't want to watch it no more. Now, it was good. hard to watch. Good show. Good, good show. It was really good. I watched it once on my own. Then I watched it again. And then shit with somebody else because they was like, I said, I'm going to watch it with you just in case you don't understand. You know, in case you're missing something, I want you to see. And they was like, this is the most fucked up shit I've ever seen in my life. I said, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what, well, we, man, so it, what we're talking it, about, what we're talking about is HBO uh, released a documentary called Bishop Sycamore High. And uh, ironically, it's called BS High. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's on it's on HBO, man. I think y'all should go check it out. The the coach, Roy Johnson. I don't even want to tell you what it's about too much, but I guess we're going to get into it now. Mm-hmm. But uh, so, Tim, I mean, just 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 whatever you want to say about it. Cause I, I got a little list of shit. All right. One thing that cat right there is a many. Yeah, narcissistic person. Mm. Anytime you catch a person who don't see out the gate that they are wrong a hundred percent, but then go to say it ain't no rules against it because it ain't no rules against it, it ain't no law against it because you doing some mm-hmm. shit people would think a good decent human being would never do. It's just like it ain't no law for me to go stand on top. You know, I ain't gonna go to jail. It ain't no law against me standing on top of your house and just pissing on your head when you walk out because they know who the fuck gonna do shit like that. Mm-hmm. Right, and then yeah. when people bring it to you, you sit there and say, "Oh, I'm not a liar, but I lie sometimes." <laughs> what, <laughs> nigga? You a liar? He said he lied when he said uh, he lies when he knows you know the truth or when he know he needs to tell the truth or something like that. Yeah, and then gonna sit there and give himself a fucking name, tell what they call me, loophole, loophole, Leroy or something. Like, yeah, nigga, you crazy. Like, and then if you don't know as a man, we kid that you fucking these kids life up. That's a go ahead, Sean. Boy, I tell you. Well, I'm piggyback I'm, everything you got. I mean, first of all, he's definitely a psycho, but I don't think he's a psycho in a sense of like a all the way bad psycho. Don't get me wrong. He does lie, but he does really everything everybody else does. He actually just what kicks his endorphin level up is when people know that he's done it and gotten away with it. To me, that's what made him cross the line into like a regular guy and the evil scientist laughing in the background when he do something. He started off the regular guy seeming like when you told me to watch it, I automatically thought black guy trying to help the community. The kids might not went to school, but who gives a fuck? At least he was trying to give them something to do and a chance because he literally gave them as much as them kids say he fucked their life up. They were in position where they never could have been ever in their life. But okay. How true. So he got them guys on ESPN, regardless of how terrible it was. Think about the guy that raised Pitbull. Think about the guy that has Six to twelve pit bulls in an undersized yard. Okay, so, oh, the fuck? you have you gonna be going somewhere with this, sir? <laughs> all right, he housed all those pit bulls. Some people might say that was terrible. Some people might say, "What else some goddamn pit bulls going to do?" Because at least he took care of them. They was all on chains and everything. Some of them pit bulls might say he fucking he gave me a house. Those little boys was like pit bulls, fucking roaming around as pit bulls. He took them in and he extorted them with their credit, and I hated that part. That's the part I hated the most when he used their fucking likeness and was stealing money with it. But outside of that, outside of his actual psycho mentality, he gave them guys something. Yes, they went played IMG and they got their ass handed to them. Colleges get their ass handed to them every day. Teams with a whole school system get their ass handed to them by other schools every day. Yes, that shit wasn't right. They weren't going to school or none of that shit. Man, you know what I'm saying? Actually gave them boys something. He gave them a shot. They was on a documentary. The documentaries would get for probably being fucked off, but they played against IMG on ESPN. They played big schools. I mean, yes, the shit was fucked up. They didn't have proper equipment. None of that shit was <laughs> They were stealing food at the store. They didn't eat right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They were literally not eating. They were stealing food. He was. They. I mean, but at the end of the day, Tim, 
He gave them boys something, man. He gave them a fucking chance. They Troy, were on the couch. Troy, he gave them heartache. Gonna give them something, though. He gave them heartache. Them kids, and what I'm going to tell you, too, he prayed on the week. He went to the hood to get these kids. And the ones he didn't go to the hood to get, he went and got the ones that wasn't nobody but their mama. Because I'm telling you something. Well, he ain't a man in the house with his son and his son playing ball and he involved in his child life gonna stand for that shit right there. That ain't been a dead motherfucker. You done fucked them kids up. Nigga, ain't no way you have nothing to show for nothing. You got these people paying you for a school that don't exist. Mm. He ain't give them boys shit, Troy, but heartache and that job. They ain't give them nothing. I mean, but what do big schools do all the time? Yeah, get, don't get me wrong. They, you get accredited. You get your degree, Thank you. you get your uh, high school diploma, all that Something. shit. Something. These people left okay. empty-handed. You get all that shit. You get better facilities. I understand. And they're not eating porridge and three-day-old mac and cheese, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Roy Johnson, Coach Roy Johnson, I do not respect him, but I also respect him. Oh, my Because God. them boys, and I just wish he wasn't so whimsical about it. If he wasn't so fucking self-indulged and, and, and motivated by people knowing he's a good liar, being what everybody else in the world really is, but he just likes to tell it because that's where he gets his fucking high from. That's his only fuck up. Sure he gave them know. boys a chance, man. No, he and, didn't. And, and, and like he said, had he fucked around and beat IMG, you know what the people would have done? They wouldn't have called him crazy because truth of the matter, lawyers do it every day. Let there be not just a rule or a law written. They are paid to find that loophole. They are paid to do it. It's like the man that's growing weed that ain't got no license as opposed to the man that's got the license. I understand, but they both weed grower at the end of the fucking day. Lawyers are nothing but Roy Johnson. He exploited the fucking law. He exploited the law. Okay. In a very fucked up way, he kind of exploited those boys' minds. He exploited their credit, they 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 futures. But had they beat IMG, you know what people would have done? They would have lined up to fucking in- endorse him. They would have sponsored him, knowing that he broke the law. Because they would have got their lawyers in. They crooked ass would have got their lawyers in and said, erase this. Cover this shit up. Beating, beating IMG, though. Okay, so when it came down to some of them kids trying to get getting offers from schools and they get them, then they come to find out you wasn't even at school. Dude, That I don't give a fuck. You can beat IMG all day, but I can't take you to a college you ain't got no fucking credit. That's true. That shit, don't, it don't work like that. You could have beat IMG. Nobody cares. But if you're trying to get to the next level, I cannot take you. You don't have the paperwork. I bet you if they would have beat IMG the following year after that, somebody would have figured that shit out. That's what I'm saying. Still as dirty and slimy as it was, Somebody would have been like, hey, bro, we going to figure this shit out. Somebody uh-huh. would have funded him. I guarantee you, uh-huh. winning in this country, I want to say the world. The difference between being a slime ball, Roy Johnson, and, man, that's Coach Roy Johnson right there. He's a trailblazer. The difference in that is a W. This country is based on Ws. He could have got the W, Troy. If he'd have got that W, and then it's the same thing that he went looking, the nigga had grown men on the team. There was no winning. He did. He had grown men on the fucking team. So if they beat IMG, what's going to come out of that? You had grown men on the goddamn team. Mm-hmm. These niggas are graduate. You had niggas from Ju- that played in a JUCO on a high school team. You're supposed to win. That's all they to say. There's no winning. You don't win. You got niggas with kids. These niggas like they work in a plant. And you talking about, nigga, you, yeah, you're supposed to win. <laughs> you're supposed to win. This nigga works swing oh, shit. Hell yeah, he going to win. Sad. He ain't got to work yeah. out. This nigga got life behind him. And you can't. That's what I'm saying. If he'd have beat IMG, that different nigga grown. So no, he will never win. Not like that. Now, if he has a bunch of kids, he did that shit, and he beat IMG, maybe the conversation be a little different. He had grown men, Troy. Grown men. Niggas that done graduated mm. high school two years before they came there. Mm. There was no winning. Soon as they got word of that, they would they probably threw his ass in jail about that because they ain't playing that shit. Good thing you lost. Cause you the one, and then you come play that with some grown men. Oh shit, there was some grown mm-hmm. men out there, bro. You can't ain't no winning, Troy. He beat IMG. He went to jail probably. Yeah, that's fraud in the motherfucker. You be on there beat up on them boy, fucking they record up, diminishing they fucking pride and shit. Of course they supposed to win. These niggas grown, got kids and shit. These niggas know life. We don't know shit. We had our mama out. Mm-hmm. And then when he I had them couple them niggas up from that JUCO, come on, bro. These niggas have seen some, some kind of big time play. And hey, you talking about you going to play a high school. Oh, shit. You better win. You better. Mm. 
So no, Troy, no, no. He, he never wins in that. No. I think I, I mean it's slimy, but uh, I think he'd have got out Martha Stewart style. I think he'd got he'd got out and he'd have. He wasn't gonna get out. Yeah. Man. All them checks and shit. He didn't bounce. They not forgiving that shit. Miss Black ass. You know it and yeah. I know it. Sixty minutes yeah. and some interviews. And he would have came out looking like a damn a damn uh what they call a super church pastor that's stealing money. That's what he looked like. Mm-hmm. Hey, some appearances, get the right. Yeah, ain't for nobody the finna pay. That dude is an eyesore. He is, and he's a classic overtalker. Like he, <laughs> oh, he's a classic long-winded. overtalker. He's a he long winded, and he blows through stop signs. If you know what yes, I mean, yes, he does. Yes, sir. <laughs> like, see, he, he don't see no exits when he talking. Lord have mercy. He don't see no exits. Mm-mm. He all gas, no break. All gas, no break. Yeah, well, I say that motherfucker. That was a monster, man. He a monster. <laughs> And then when they show the cat that got niggas getting offers and shit, then they get the offer from the college. Hell yeah, I'm committing. Get to the school. You can't even play here, man. You ain't been to high school in three years. It, it's crazy. Damn. And then these kids that they showed at the end that, that kind of got offers, I, somebody did something for them, but them other kids ain't got them kind of resources. Yeah. Because you got some of them kids, they got no resources. They life is over. You seen a bunch of kids. One of them went to rapping. We don't know how that's going to work. You know what I'm saying? Then a couple oh, yeah. of them... The couple of them, one dude just working at a grocery store. Yeah, man, it's yeah. crazy. He fucked and up. One of them, and one of them say he football. He just he don't even want to think about football no more. No, he don't do football. He, the shit he, he did all that. Traumatized, man. You fucked them kids up. And the one, like I say, was able to shake something out of out of nothing. Like I say, them other cats don't have no resources, man. They can't do that. They they life is over. Yeah, they got to start from. It's like you just fucking dropped out of school. Yeah. So no, that yeah. dude is the worst, nigga. I'm like shit, boy. So if that motherfucker turned up at a hospital with his ass beat a shot, I know why. Yeah. And I'm not gonna I ain't gonna feel sorry for him because you know what you did. Yeah. Yeah, you got these yeah. kids I heard getting them out the hood and you seen some of them kids. Them kids won't play, they couldn't play no football to save their life. Yeah. <laughs> they just falling all over the damn place. You talking about I'm, I'm recruiting and like, man, you not recruiting. You praying on weak people and hitting their folks up for twelve thousand dollars and shit. Damn. Big shout out to Graham though. Graham got their uh, cameo on there. They did. They offered the kid a shot, but he can't even yeah. get it because yeah. of that. He can't. Even, he couldn't even. You. You got. Yeah. Big shout out to Graham. But God damn it, he couldn't even do it. They had to call the boy back and said, "Man, we we gotta take that that off off the table. You ain't been to school." Damn. That's what I'm saying. So that right there could have been that little boy shot right there. He could have came down to Graham, did his thing, and at least get a good look or something. He could have ended up somewhere. Now this nigga can't go nowhere. You're too old to go to high school. You ain't got no credits to go to college. So now mm-hmm. what? You can, I guess, you can go try to walk on and and the damn arena league. Try. I and mean, shoot. from what I from what I saw out there, the quarterback might have been okay on a real team, but I didn't really see anything else out there. So. I think, and I, this is going to sound bad. I don't really mean it like it's going to sound. I think them guys being on there is the most public chance they were going to ever get in life. I think they should try to maximize off this, off this, what they got going on. This 15, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but what were they going to do? What were they doing when he <clears throat> prayed on them? When he came to find them, they were on their way to doing nothing anyway. They weren't Man, doing they probably, intent. They, they weren't doing anything with anything. They were obviously dropouts because they weren't in school. So they weren't doing shit already. He found them and the shit was kind of fucked up. But they are on TV. They on a fucking uh, uh, a documentary on HBO. Yeah, their life got fucked up. But what was their life headed to anyway? If he it's, if he recruited them, what were they headed? It's embarrassing. You on a documentary is so embarrassing because all they people are saying is how could the fuck could you not know that ain't no school? You seen the shit at the end. They were like, how the fuck you don't know you going to school? How how, how you gonna go to school? Don't exist. You didn't look at nothing. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't do no kind of research. I don't give a damn how stupid you are and what neighborhood you come from and what your poverty level is. Like, what these, what the fuck the parents are doing? Like, how I'm y'all saying. upset? Y'all should be mad at yourself. You should be mad at yourself. I wish my little girl would come here with a with a letterhead. Some of them, you need to go to the school. Come <laughs> tell her, boy. I'm gonna yeah. say, you know what? We we're we're going there tomorrow. The whole family. We're yeah, going. yeah, we're gonna visit. We're going to visit. And the first sign of bullshit, we out. I don't want nobody to believe that I would get sucker because I'm very not easily suckered. Like I don't. Uh, first of all, I don't. I don't believe anything is real. So mm-mm. I'm not gonna get suckered. So I don't know how they got suckered. I'm just simply saying that Coach Johnson went hard to the point where if he, I can't say if he was coaching for real because I mean you can't mix, you can't do apples and oranges. But he was passionate, man. And I mean he didn't have the resources to do what he needed to do. And I hate that he was really a narcissist. And I hate how he beat that homeless man up. 
And I hate how he was fucking beating on his old lady in front of the fucking kids. I think all this trash. I mean, just on a pure warning, he saw a dream or effort level. Maybe he did get these boys out the street. But all I'm saying is, you see a stray dog walking down the road. And I, I mean, I can't even use that because I'd rather be a stray dog than a dog with a chain. But Bro, you he's know a stray dog. Dreams. You know who has had dreams? Dope deals. Yeah, yeah, Tim, but... <laughs> I'm just saying... And he's dope, dude. He had a dream. I, I get everybody has a dream, but why would you exhaust your dream upon those that you know you're taking advantage of? And I guess this. I guess this. And I, I think deep down inside, and I'm not a, a gigantic second chance person, but I think deep down inside, he really had good intentions for those boys. And he was hoping that, because I think a lot of people live life like this. You live life hoping that the shit can catch up. Like you might go ahead and pay for something and you're just hoping that shit can kind of catch up. Or you hope that I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, I'm going to move in this spot. And by the time it's time for the rent. Now, that's not a well done plan, but everybody has lived like that at some point in their lives. Most people live like that when they're younger. But I think that at the end of the day, after the hurt, the boys tears and they, they lives fucked up. I think at the end of the day, had he figured out how to make this work, he wouldn't have continued mistreating those boys because he would have had the resources he needed. I don't think he went into it with the intent to take these boys and ruin their lives. I I think, okay, I'll say he probably didn't have the intent, but the intent was gone when you sat there and took it up on yourself. You didn't ask anybody. You took it upon yourself to start a damn football team from a church school. They didn't even tell you to do that. No people did not tell you to do that. Then he'll go so far and say, they were just scared. They didn't want to. Them folks had, they, they had to make a ladder. Like, we ain't got nothing to do with that. You just here working for be working. You took it upon yourself to make a football team. Ain't nobody asked you to do that. You don't even have funding to do it. If you ain't got no funding to do it and you ain't got the money to do it, then all your attention is bad. I don't understand I how you're looking at it. It's like a crime. I get it. It's just, you know, you don't got the money. Don't take it. And I'm not yeah. saying that I'm not saying that people should steal or people should do anything or people should whatever. But I think in some situations, all crimes ain't equal. Like the crimes that those boys, the, the, the pain that those boys endure being manipulated by an adult. And I really hate to say that because you can't beat a motherfucking child hollering about how grown they are. You can't beat a kid hollering about how smart they are. But every time a child get in trouble, they always want to cry and talk about what their mama and their daddy did. But anyway, that's another story I, for another day. I, I totally understand what you're saying because you claim you're so damn grown and you know so damn much. But then when, the, you, know, so when you get into much. the real world, in the real world, slap you in the face, you now you want your mama. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. But I like I said, that. he is a grown motherfucker that manipulated. I don't even want to use the word manipulated. He told these boys something. Like they say, they, he sold them a dream and they bought That's it. That's manipulation, dog. It. That's manipulation all day long. I guess, man. That's manipulation. Because, I mean, come on, man. If you go, if, man, when, when, you, when you start getting people to start stealing and then make them think it's right, that's manipulation. I, you know that I shit agree with right. you. No, you know it's not right. I'm, I'm not even trying to, I'm not even trying to justify it. I just, I just don't want to use strong words because use them. this, this world got so many different facets, man. And I really hate defending people that need, don't need defending. Like to me, kids, and I protect my children with every ounce of my body, but they'll kick back and let you know how grown they are until mm -hmm. something happens. And mm -hmm. then it's like, what happened? You know, and, 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 and I, I mean, I just hate to look at him like that because at some point, at some point, them boys wanted what he was trying to give them as bad as he was trying to give it to them. And they knew what they was doing. They was grown enough. And I know they kids and all this bullshit because of their age, but them ain't no fucking kids, man. People jumped on that train with him because they knew they wanted something. They didn't want to go to class. They thought at some point that they could get to the point with doing something without having to go to school and all that extra shit. And yeah, they knew they were doing something wrong, but bro, everybody that's in a situation know they're in that situation, man. I, I hate when people play the victim at the end. That's just my only thing about it. Yeah, but being that we are talking about, wait, wait, I mean shit, Troy, at the end of the day, you really think about it. Who's the ones on there really complaining? The actual children. Because that boy that was at that Juco ain't say shit. <laughs> he didn't, because he knew he was in the wrong. He didn't say, he wasn't complaining about a goddamn thing. It was them kids that was actual kids. They were under 18 years old. They was one like, damn. But the ones that were grown, they they was like, well, yeah, he, he did that. It was fucked up, but he did it. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all knew y'all wrong for being there. You knew that shit wasn't right. And I mean, God damn it, even the ones that, the, the, the ones that was really like kids, like, you, come on, Troy, you can't tell me as a kid that you're on a football team and you know it's a grown-ass man in here playing with you 
on a football team, you just think this shit go, is, is just going to be cool? You ain't been to class. And long, once again, nothing. And I'm you think tired of it. Cool? I'm tired of it getting blamed on the, the area people grew up in. Oh, look at the poverty level. Man, look, no. you grown as fuck. You know goddamn well your boy ain't in no goddamn classroom. You ain't got in to know no that. Ain't got no bus know. running. This man riding around with all these boys picking your boy up every what the come get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Like I'm tired yeah. of that, that bullshit about you. people ruining their life. Get, get, I'm with you. Ain't nobody doing that's why I say Roy Johnson, as fucked up as that shit looks. He was an opportunist. He was, he was an opportunist, and I don't think he went into the with the intention of taking these. I, I think he really wanted to make these young men great. He was but trying a, to make he, them great. But he wasn't even. But he was living in Fairyland. You can't make them great, and they ain't, they ain't doing the minimum. I get it. Like I get you're not it. even wasn't. doing the minimum. I can see if them kids was in school, real actual school, and he tried some shit. These kids ain't even going to school, nigga. And again, I'm with you on that. The parents are probably the biggest to blame. Why would you send them somewhere with zero graduate, four, five years? Ain't nobody ever came up out of there. Zero knowledge of the school, period. Like, there yeah, is not nothing. even, have you Googled it? Did it even come up on Google? Right. Oh, well, shit, I mean, you can make your page. You know what I'm I talking mean, about? It comes up, it comes <laughs> up now because it's, a, it's, it's public. It's a, it's a story. But before this, when your kid came to you and said, this man... First of all, this man is telling me that I can play football at this school. Did you just say Google the school? Did you did you even ride by the even where the school is supposed to be? I mean, right? Bro. Because most parents are going to say, "I want to see the facilities," man, and then if on. I want to see the facilities. And which he had them kids, that wasn't a facility. That was just a public place you can pay to go to. He did fucking better opening up a goddamn. Semi pro, little semi pro league or something. Yeah, he did. There you go. Now, if he did that, nothing been said. If he did that, but he went to high school, right? Because really, Troy, he was living out his, he was trying to live his dreams out through them kids. He was living his dream out by carrying through them kids. And I, and I mean, like I said, bro, I'm not mad at him for what he was trying to do. I just hate that the boys got caught in the crossfire, first of all. And secondly, they weren't, I guess a point B to that is they weren't properly fed. None of that shit. Now, and what kind of parent is going to get a picture of your child showing you what the fuck they eating and you just going to sit there and wait for them to come back home? Waiting for them to come back to the house. No. Can you, like, can you why not you go eating? get him? Right. Like, why are you eating? Why, why y'all in the hotel so much? Because I don't give a fuck with nobody. Say, even if I, I might be wrong, but I highly, highly doubt that IMG stay in hotels year round. No. Highly doubt. You don't racked up millions of dollars in hotel bills because that's where they was keeping them. If my if one of my kids ever came and be like, I'm like, well, you know, high school going everything, well, you know, where you where your room at? Show me your room. How things going? And are you are you in a hotel every time I call you? Oh no, yeah, I'm very hands on. Anyway, I I can't even put my kids in a situation that that would never happen. But no, they wouldn't be. There's a zero percent chance that my children can attend a fake school in any facet of this yeah. lifetime. Yeah, that's what I say. Like, I say the same thing. That's zero chance they can have. It's I a mean. Fake a big fat zero. Yeah, there was zero chance. Because if you tell me going to school, like, so I'm going to look it up. Even I don't give a fuck how much you done really did this website up to make it look real. Like that movie Accepted. You remember that movie? Where they started that damn bullshit college and it wasn't real? The white, it was a I white, white boy on the And they started a college that didn't exist. Yeah, yeah Accepted. And then, but some of them parents was like, fuck that, we coming to the campus. Because mm -hmm. we ain't never heard of this school before. They called it, it was called SHIT, South Harmon Institute of Technology. The, the mm. acronym was SHIT. And then my dad, nigga, dad said, I ain't never heard no South Harmon Institute of Technology. Yeah. But they created this bullshit website. He said, fuck that website. I'm coming down there. I got to come see, man. He had to come see it. So they had to rush to put some shit together because them motherfuckers showed up. So you telling me all these mamas, and I'm, I'm going to say too, and if I'm wrong, Lord, forgive me. Them mamas were happy them goddamn kids was gone out that house so they could do the happy fuck they, they was gone. They were happy they were gone. So how do you let your kid do that? You ain't no concern because you they gone. You can really hold how you want to hold. Ain't nobody going to say nothing now because the mm. kid ain't at the house because there is no way that kid gone and now you're just complaining. Oh, I can't believe it happened. You should have been checking up. You were glad that boy would go so you can keep them niggas up and through there. But I might be wrong. Down through there. I might be wrong. That might be the Jack talking, but I think that's where I just don't see it. You on that Chrome <laughs> TV crying, but I just don't see it. I don't see it. I know my mama's single mom. She she went down. Hell, when I was at Grambling hell, shit, hell, I saw her more than I saw growing up with her. Oh, boy, I'm trying to tell you. She she wasn't bullshit. You all right? What's yeah. going on down there? Show me something. She wanted to see everything. Yeah, she my, mama I, went, my mama wasn't real college yet, but she had her hands in everything. 
You gotta have it in there. Like my nigga, no. Them women were glad them kids were gone so they can do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. I ain't come in at three, four o'clock and not come home for two, three days because I ain't got to worry about him saying nothing, him seeing it. But yeah, because mm-hmm. you fuck with Joe next door and shit, you don't want to like nobody. Next door. <laughs> yeah, but Joe next door comes, he come lay up now. He ain't got to leave because the boy come home yeah. at three thirty. He ain't got to yeah. leave. He lay up in there scratch his ass and fought. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lay down. Yeah, he can lay down and bust a nut. That's why you weren't checking. Now you know, I can't believe they just eating three day old macaroni and cheese. Who the fuck <laughs> gonna eat three day old macaroni and cheese? Boy, I don't even eat fresh macaroni and cheese. I don't like this no. shit. You talking about what you feed me? You talking about all we ate with pizza and pasta every day? And you told your every mama day. that shit and she let you stay there? Hell no. Hey, I tell my mama, my mama ain't got nothing but ramen noodle. She on her way. No, she on her way. As a grown man right now, if I'm down on my shit, I'm like, boy, what's going on? I'm, like, I just, I'm leaving my room with noodles. I just don't know what to do. I'm on my way down there. And she mm-hmm. coming with a Sam's card? Come on, get in the car. We're going to Sam's. Yeah, let's go to yeah. Sam's. We should go to Sam's because you just can't live out there. Wherever the closest Sam's is. Wherever it's at. She, if she don't say, can you get to Shreveport? If you can't, I'm going to send some money, put some gas in your car, meet me down and we'll go to Sam's. I'll get some mm-hmm. gas, put some gas, get you back home. But at least you got something to eat. That's it. But you don't sit up there. Why is she just eating porridge? Oh, okay. <laughs> and like I said, I might be wrong. Lord forgive me if I'm wrong, but I just don't see how your mama let you be out there. My personal children ain't finna be no social security numbers and no forms and nothing mm-hmm. here. Like no, there ain't none of that even happened before nothing. What you mean yeah. you attend this college? You don't you don't go to shit university. Like you ain't attend shit nothing. Nigga, my mama didn't give me my motherfucking social security card till I graduated, nigga. <laughs> she did not give me that card. Now yeah, I my, knew it. I yeah. knew it. But she also said you don't give that shit to nobody. Nobody, bro. Yeah, like how the fuck is you giving like man, come on. I understand they need that shit for accreditation and all that shit, but like I said, how you gonna do that shit and you you can't even visit the camp? Can't even, and they the, had no no campus day. You know, come on. I know the spirit of the documentary was to, was to shine a light on Coach Roy Johnson, but there should have been a seg. There should have been a segue off that interview to be like, how did ch- the parents? This should have been like, how did y'all not know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm tired of. I'm tired of all these parents in the R. Kelly cases not knowing. I'm tired of I'm tired of all these people molesting these kids and these parents just don't know. I'm sick yeah. of it. Like NASA. Hey. Hey, wormhole. Hey, hey, hey. Like your boy uh, Larry NASA. Like, how y'all don't know what he did to your kids? Yeah, 200, 200 and some odd uh, college cheerleaders that came through there and got fondled and D- you got diddled. And got diddled with. And no, no parent, no? Not yeah. one. And then one of them sitting up there, it's just like, hey, when they said that shit about the one, he would do it right there in front of the parents. Like, so y'all just let y'all daughter get on the table like a dog and let the goddamn man just stick his hand in every hole she had. What the fuck is wrong with you? Because he said it was a technique he learned. Your his, technique his- <laughs> you learned should be on the shoulders with her clothes on and whatever you doing with these girls, it should be a nurse in there as well as me. Yeah, if my uh, if I'm in there and Larry Nessa is feeling on my children before he feel in, I'm not gonna say feel in. If he didn't felt, I'm gonna say, hey, Larry. I'm say, what what is that, man? Doctor, or not. That, what is right. that one for? What, what is what, that? What, was that, what is that? And really, man, I, I'm gonna tell you something, man. If it gets to the point of where you know, it's just I don't give a fuck, man. It, I, whatever, whatever the kind of sport they in, there is no way you need to be touching certain spots. Well, I don't know, man. Shit, I don't know because I remember coming up, man. You know, we had to go get them. Them hernias, they said that grabbing nuts, take the cough, so shit. I don't know. It was quick and it was like most of the people coming through saying like a cat. Yeah, like a, it, like it was so many herd. people. Yeah, it was. I, I, it was. It was a lot of people. It was. Cause I mean, when they did it with us, nigga, we was all in one room. I would refer, I would be like, I, I, I was like, uh, Larry's a good whatever he is, but we need a woman here. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is your well, dad just crazy. Well, sir, your daughter may not be, uh, well, hey, man. No, not. Me and her will deal with this later. So yeah. We out of here. Yeah. We out of here today. Yeah, but you know, man, but I was saying some parents, man, them parents is willing to let them be, let, let that man do anything because they wanted that money too. Yeah, they wanted it. And Since I, I ain't going to never be able to go to the Olympics and make some money, whatever you need to do to her to get her to that point, just do it because I'm believing you're doing the right thing now. Nah, because I won't, I was never able to sing and have concerts and be a superstar. Whatever, if you need to take my daughter on a, 
on, on a retreat for three, four days to teach her how to sing, you just take her. You got to be fucking kidding me. I wish that all those videotapes or those audios of them, of them parents submitting and, and what do you call it? consenting to that? Yeah, consent. They pretend, they pretend like they didn't know. They remember saying it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, man, it, it's kind of like the way I felt when I watched fucking that uh, Neven Neverland, the Michael Jackson mm -hmm. shit. I was like, dude, Mike probably was fucked up cat. But what about these goddamn parents? What in the West hell is you doing letting this little boy spend the night with a grown man? Not even letting, probably in a lot of cases suggesting. Suggesting? And I don't give a goddamn what's going on. You're not finna sugarcoat nothing talking about I'm gonna send everybody on a vacation, but I'm gonna keep your child. What? And it got to the point, Troy, while I was watching that shit. I ain't even, man, I was like, I don't even feel bad, man. These, these parents, they, they went along with that shit for them chicks. Man, listen. Because Mike had the money. He was just paying. They were just collecting checks. But I'm going to tell you, when I knew the shit was real, both of them boy and daddy killed themselves. They couldn't live yeah. with it. You know why? Couldn't live with because it. Because them fucking pa them kids was coming home saying, Mommy, Daddy, Mr. Jackson touched me. Oh, it's, it's all okay. right. He was, just, he was just playing. He was just playing. That's, that's a game he plays. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, they wanted that money. The men couldn't handle it. And both of them boy and daddy committed suicide because they I knew really that shit hate. was wrong. I really hate. And people... You know, I, we watch a lot of net, we watch a lot of shows on a lot of different streaming networks. We watch a lot of hospital, a lot of firefighters, and a lot of police and shit. And a lot of these police turn to hound dogs when it comes to prosecuting these fucking people that have stole a little money from a bitch. They'll follow them all over the world and ruin their life following this person. This person really, in my mind, ain't did shit. But I hate the way America allows the parents of slain children kidnapped children in a sense depends on how they got how they got kidnapped children that went through a lot of sexual trauma over years I, I i hate i hate these parents get off america would just let these parents cry and this has been going on since i can remember watching press conferences of anybody who got kidnapped the little girl got kidnapped when we was kids i can't remember my name little showgirl little white showgirl i can't remember my name anyway parents ramsey. have been crying if ramsey they've been crying in front of the camera since before since men folk right and they still crying. They still just cry in front of the camera. It is time out. It is time to start uh -huh. investigating their ass so hard. I'm talking about, like they say on the police show, you store the closest. Them parents getting off too easy, man. They are. They getting out way too easy. Because, like, yeah, when it comes to that shit like that, man. It, I mean, even, like, when they say the kid got kidnapped or, or, or anything, even if your kid get kidnapped and then whatever story you get, get kidnapped, you still need to look at the folks because... If you let them kids out of your sight for that kind of shit to go on, I know it happened. Anything can happen, but it's still negligence is there, right? It's yep. still some negligence there because there is no way I'm, I should be in Walmart with my with my kids, and then okay, I went to I went to just reach up to grab a can, good, and when I turned around, she was gone. Who the fuck yep. gonna believe some dumb ass shit like that? Yeah, and it's very well possible somebody could have been waiting to get your kid. It's very well possible, but at the same time. You telling me you just turned around and they were gone. Baby didn't I mean, say daddy or nothing while they You didn't hear no, no kind of hollering, no kind of anything. You're like, dude, like what? And then you know had the stories of, oh, I just turned my head for a second and I looked back, they was gone. It wasn't a second. Yeah. It wasn't a second. You hollered it was a second. You walked off for about five, ten minutes. <laughs> what you did. It wasn't no yep. uh, a second. It wasn't a second. Yeah. You don't, and you don't do point, it. You've been negligent. negligent. There's got to be a law. You got to serve. You should serve some jail time, even if you did not partake in your child getting kidnapped or run over by a car, or whatever happened. Because that kid is under your care, I think there should be a minimum jail sentence for you just being simply negligent, even if you didn't, even if they got kidnapped on your watch. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. I mean, every parent I know has probably done something where they turn their head for a minute and then you. Yeah. You know, like, oh, shit, what happened? You know, but that that's truly like I turned my head for a minute. And nine times out of ten, when you turn your head for a minute, it ain't somebody that took them. That damn little kid and ran. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. didn't book it on your ass because they will book. If you ain't watching them, they're both for a whole ass mm -hmm. running. If they little like that. Because, hell, I lost one of my kids in this apartment when they were little. In lost apartment. one. She. I mean, these big hollering on day and everything. Hell, I went to the point of thinking it was a damn rapture. I said, why would the Lord take one and not both the <laughs> twins? Hell, they both ain't done nothing. Well, I said, but the other one sitting right there. I couldn't find it other one. I'm calling her name, walking out. I said, how the fuck am I going to tell their mama she gone? I'm opening mm -hmm. up everything. Time to find out. She on the other side of the damn bed playing. 
She just oh wasn't listening God. to me. I'm I'm Troy. I'm talking about I open up the closet. I'm in the bathroom. I said, Lord, she done fell in the toilet. Everything. <clears throat> everything. She done got on the sink. Nowhere. She's on the other side of the bed just playing. Went over there, she had some socks. Playing with some socks. It's your baby. Lord, and I'm talking about I lost my shit. I'm up on the I'm like, God, that's there is no way I lost that baby in this house. No law. They can't reach the knob. We lost the whole baby. Lost the whole baby. I'm hollering her name. Maybe she'll start crying in a minute. Didn't say shit. The other twin looking at me like, where she at? And I'm like, shit. Where she? I'm like, God damn, shit. And I was like, dude, I just started watching. Man, I looked on the side of the bed. Sure, they're playing with some fucking socks. Just minding her business. Mm. I said, shit. You know? Now, if that shit would have happened in the grocery store or something, I'd be fucked. Right? Oh, no, we, we, we locking the front door. I'm, I'm First thing I'm going to do if I ever lose my children was they old enough now. But when they were young, if this would have happened, I'm going straight to the front door because I don't think that the person kidnapping them will go out the back door because back doors usually make alarms and all that anyway. Yeah. Well, ain't, ain't nobody getting out. Yeah. They, I don't have a back door, but the damn door, they were too little to reach the knob. So they, they nobody came in here. Nobody went anywhere. Shit, she was just being a child. Me, done turned my head for a minute doing some shit. She, she can walk. So she just walked and got the plan, but just wasn't responding when I called her name. But she a grocery. Now, if, it, if I'm out in public, Man, when I tell you I be holding them so damn tight they have marks on them. Oh, absolutely. Gee. You dang on right. Yeah, yeah, because when hell, when I let go of they let go of their hand, they be doing this shit right here to get the blood back in it, because I'm holding your hand. And you ain't gonna you get well, away from me. I don't want to hear the law, and I damn sure don't want to hear your mama, and I damn sure don't want to hear my mama. No, for me, I, if something happens, they're gonna know I didn't do it because I'm gonna spend the rest of my my life is gonna be so ruined. Like if I done did it, I wouldn't have no joy out of it. So they're like, no, he couldn't have kidnapped his own kid because he is fucking. He spent his he, his, his beard too long, and he spent his all his days looking for who did it. Man, it's just like the white girl was that Casey Anthony. Nigga, they had all kind of shit on this white girl. Man, she still ain't put her ass in jail. She killed that damn baby. Yeah. Kill that baby. Going, they, they be vacationing. It's like, who who, who kid is gone and somebody vacationing? Like, what you mean a vacation? Like, I think all my <laughs> friends are going... Like, it's nobody's going to like me no more. Nigga, how you going... Yeah, how your daughter dead, your child is dead, and you at the ball? Oh, you don't know they dead. They just been missing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and you, just, you living your life like everything is okay. Hey, can't do no shit like that, man. You can't do no shit like that. Like say, man, like if you want to try to prove your innocent, like you say, you better live like a fucking hermit. When they come to that house, it smells so damn bad and they don't you you just can't bathe. You just missing that child. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta show some kind of sign of, of goddamn, you know, like I, I I just don't know, my life is over, you know. But you sitting up there living your best life, goddamn like you just stay at the barber shop. You <laughs> like nigga, no. Yeah. Yeah, you kill that baby. Mm-hmm. Damn boy, I just had deja vu. Look young. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man. I, I hope everybody get that shit together. That nigga need to go to jail. But I know he kept talking about, I would do it again. Ain't nobody fucking with him no more. And who was that? Uh, your boy. Oh, uh, yeah, ain't nobody fucking with him no more. <clears throat> he keep talking about, I'd do it again. And we coming back. No, you're not. You'll never be able to do that shit again. But I will say somebody will. But he won't. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man. Uh, and they showed the little clip of the... What was that? That was a, a Catholic school, you know, right right after the, the show was going off. And I mean, that's all it is. He He's not, he wasn't far away. He seemed far away, but he wasn't far away, bro. And, and just for the record, away. just for the record, I am not rooting for him at all, but I do understand what he was doing. I, I get don't, it. I don't understand, man. The only way I could have some kind of understanding, if you had permission and some kind of funding, I don't want to understand this shit, Charles, if like, he had permission and the funding fell through and he tried to foot it himself. And he just wasn't able to close that gap. I have some understanding. He didn't have permission. So it's Nobody all, even it's told all, you to It's all legal for you. So it's all legal for you. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's got to be. Even if it, even if you don't want to call it legal, well, I'm looking at it like this. If you gonna give me, gonna, gonna ask me for some goddamn money and you ain't even supposed to be at this point, you fucking steal it. You ain't even trying to do nothing right. You just say, fuck it, I'm going to start this shit. And some of you goddamn kids, I say, they look like, how the fuck did your folks have $12,000 a semester? Or whatever he was calling it as. And then one woman say, I'm still getting billed. You lost your damn money. If I pay $12,000 for anything, shit, I need to see some kind of sign. Yeah, yeah that shit, that was fucked up. But on the lighter note, I can't wait to have a black woman on Naked and Afraid. I don't think they ever will. You know, they show Not, them women's asses. That black woman ass gonna be too much for, for a goddamn discovery. There ain't never been no real one on there. There's been some black women. You, you can tell they have a, a white I ain't never seen one. 
it's been a, it's been a, you know, the kind of got like a, a white or a black mix. You know, it's they're mixed. I ain't never seen one, Jack. Yeah, I, I don't seen a curly head one on every program. I ain't never. Uh, seen yeah, no she might guy. be curly head, but you ain't just seen that. Like, yeah, daddy. Straight dog yeah. down, straight yeah. up to the big old boots. Yeah, that shit gonna be too much for Discovery, man. They keep these goddamn, you know, these, like you say, you see them with curly hair ones, but they, you know, I'm talking about a motherfucking black ass. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. They ain't gonna never have that on there, because shit, that shit'll be jack on material, nigga. I think it'll be a lot harder for those guys to actually be naked and afraid out there, too. <laughs> and that's, I, 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 I don't think the taste gonna go right. It ain't gonna go right. They got to just a boner. Yeah, could, could. We can't do this. We can't. And then I got to sleep with a cousin Cole. Man, they be rocked up, man. Man. They go between they them little, cheeks. Between them cheeks, nigga. Mm. They be having these little white girls on here. I ain't, you know, I look, I look, I look a little white booty. Okay. You know, a little white girl. I got you. But I'm talking about, nigga, you talking about a motherfucker when she walking over the woods, that motherfucker is like, shit, <laughs> this shit can't be on TV, nigga. <laughs> she got to cut this shit off. It's moving, when she, it's moving when she ain't moving. When she ain't moving, that bitch is like it blowing in the wind. Oh, no, you can't do that. Because <laughs> like right now, they so close for this white girl ass and I don't feel a goddamn thing. <laughs> I don't feel nothing. I'm just, he's like, just looking at a loaf of bread and some shit. I don't, okay. <laughs> okay. But you get a goddamn ass on that nigga. Oh, oh. she. Hey, you hear me? She, nigga, got to beat it. <laughs> just beat it. <laughs> feed it, feed it. Feed it, feed it. <laughs> feed it, feed it. Hey, uh-huh. Yeah. Nigga, I was like, boy, I said, that's why I was sitting there thinking. I said, nigga, they have never had no black woman on here. I see little curly head chicks. Okay, they might be. I don't. They ain't black. They probably be more like Greek yeah. or some shit. But I'm talking about just a black woman. Mm-hmm. Like, ooh, mm, I'm talking about like old black woman. I'm tired, black woman. My like, shit. Yeah, they, they won't do it. Mm, shit, they go. They can have on him. One thing, mm-hmm. them kind of black women, they is not gonna fuck with them woods like that. I don't know. Yeah. It's probably one out there, but they just yeah. they, they probably told it, baby. You can't be on TV. You just can't do it. If you find one, you can't, yeah, if you find one, you can't put it on TV. It's not going to work. Mm-mm. We ain't going to be able to put you on TV. They're going to have to, they're going to have to goddamn blank out her whole body. Then they take away from the naked and the free. Now I get, yeah. you know, they don't show no titties. Or no sh- I mean, you know, it, it's still a good, it's a, it's a, it's a TV program, but so they just show you a little ass or something, but you know, this white girl here, they just show her ass as a whole. I ain't never seen nobody ass this much, but there's nothing there. I'm but talking you know about what? That, Somebody like that came around on the show. All the wives gonna be at the job that day. They gonna be bringing food. They ain't never seen yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Never, never been to this yeah. job before. Yeah, yeah. And then whoever that dude is, if he's married, he is not gonna. No, no. You call in to work that day. No, I'm, I'm not coming in today. No, no. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. I seen one episode, nigga, where they had a damn transgender. On here, and that motherfucker was out there doing that shit and didn't have that medicine. That's the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. Wait a minute, what you mean? Like, didn't have them hormones and shit. That motherfucker was like a dude, like beard oh. and everything with titties. Yeah. Oh, no. no I no, seen no. that shit. I was like, what? Because I, I was watching, I was like, it was something throw it off about the motherfucker. I said, motherfucker kind of look funny, kind of strong in the face. So I'm watching, I'm listening, you know, they go to tell their story. I said, I knew it. I knew it. It's a dude. Then as the time went on, I was like, this shit here is getting crazy. Motherfucker start growing a beard. She like, yeah, I haven't had my hormones. And motherfucker start, like that man shit start popping out. I'm like, this is the wildest shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I was like, that's crazy. Because you can't take no medicine and shit like that. They didn't allow it. And when I tell you that shit start getting like a nightmare, I'm like, what is that? Because at first I said, that is, what is that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the person I've ever seen that shit. Yeah. It was a white dude or woman, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. That motherfucker yeah. didn't have that medicine and started going like man wild. Man. And that motherfucker was, I was like, ooh. So you can show me that, but I, but you can't show me a big old fat ass. He's too graphic to go on TV. It, it, it really was. Like, I was like, this shouldn't be on TV. I can see a man that's a woman. Yeah. Yes, that shit was wild. To a man. Yeah, because it ain't got the pills. Couldn't take All them right. pills. And them motherfuckers are turning to a man. Well, he is a man, but it's like watching goddamn, yeah, it's like watching a movie where somebody turned into something else. Because the motherfucker, when they showed him coming out there, that damn thing was, she like, looked like a woman, but you could still tell it was a dude. Like, yeah, that's something off. That's, that's a fucking man. Then after time went on, like day 25 and shit, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 shit. 
<laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, scream like, and say, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad." I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to look twice. <laughs> like, dude, that was the craziest shit I've seen in my life. I was like, "Damn, that motherfucker was a dude and couldn't take that medicine. That motherfucker started changing. Shit, like a damn transformer." I was like, "Damn, I just don't understand why this." I don't get it. it graphic material. That's graphic material. That's very graphic. Because if a child was watching that, they would have been confused as fuck. But the way the world is right now, they try to make sure you're never confused. Or no, they want to give you all of your options. They want to let you be anything. Just here you go. But that's, you know, Mm -hmm. I don't want want to jump in that wormhole. No, we ain't going to jump in it, but that's what I seen them naked and afraid. That's I seen it once and I never seen it. I don't want to see it again, but I just didn't think they would show that. Like you actually showing this transgender person with no pills go the way that they're supposed to go. So do you yeah. think you think there's just no women that have applied or you think they're purposely keeping I think they purposely ass. doing it. Big ass black women are, I believe they, they purposely are do that. You can't show that. I mean you can show them like you know you go to World Star or some shit like that you know they show that shit but you got this woman walking around with just nigga come on I mean like a real fat black ass nigga you can't show that shit on TV nigga. Yeah you can't. You can't. Because you might see a little thick white chick. You know, she kind of thick for a white girl. All right, I see what you got going on. A little hard, you know. You look like, you know, she look like a little softball player. You know them white girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something like that. But you get a motherfucker on this bitch that's slanging? Ray's going to go through the roof. It's just our bodies, though. It's just, it's that's what that's the crazy part about it. Like an ass is an ass, but an ass ain't an ass. It ain't. It ain't. Cause shit, look, and I'm gonna tell you, I watch Nigga and Afraid, and the day I see that episode, I'm calling every nigga I know. Nigga, what you doing? Nigga, turn the Discovery Channel right now. Look at this shit. No, that's when you pop out your old VHS and you record that shit. You gotta, you gotta record that shit first. Somebody gotta see it. Uh, hey, I'm yeah. gonna call a few people for. You gotta see this shit, nigga. They got a real woman on here, dog. This motherfucker is stacked. She on this bitch walking around. Oh shit! Man, Somebody you can't walk around. Had in her head because a wig and started itching. Mmm. 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 All mm. that. Well, see, the attitude going to keep them all deaf with one. So I ain't worried mm. about all that. You know, but I ain't even seen a petite little black chick. I ain't seen a black woman at all. Like, you see, you see the curly head chick, but she ain't like that. You know, because the last episode Man. I was a little white chick, but she was, she was straight. But, I mean, it wasn't no black one. I put it like this. The only ass you're going to see on Nigga and Afraid is where you can see the ass crack and the butt all together. Like, yeah. It, yeah, it's just there. She's just there. That was like this one right here. I'm, uh, that's all I'm not. She's just, she's just a person. She's just a human. Yeah, she's just a human. Like, and I'm like, dude, they they just so close up on her ass in the way you just don't care. I ain't that, you know, I'm like, dude, that's crazy. They just all up on them. Like, shit, I like, really, and the way it's looking, you really can just pull a little thing that you're blocking down. It's over. Yeah. That's everything you got right there. But yeah, I'm just looking for the, just a jungle booty. Mm. You'll never get that. No, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, we can't even get a petition going. Mm-mm. Yeah, no. But yeah, man. But yeah, like I said, man, I ain't want to be so heavy handed tonight, man. But yeah, that shit, I just think everybody should have seen that shit. So you know what to look for, especially if you got kids playing sports. Just kind of make sure, you know, you stay involved, man. And don't let that, what happened to them, happen to you or anybody, you know, because that shit right there was not cool. Yeah. Not cool. Because really, man, if, 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 like I said, man, that kind of shit right there, it's some parents out there commit murder behind shit like that. Oh, yeah, really? Because you got somebody that's up there and try to relate that shit to rape. Be like, man, they, they stole my kids' life. Yeah. You stole my kids' innocence. You stole their life. Yeah. This is something, man. But I'm going to tell you something, though, Troy. If that had been on the other side of the fence with the, you know, our other people, yeah, they did something to him. Mm-hmm. Somebody and that's why do- I say he wasn't malicious. Like, he didn't try. He didn't do anything to the boys other than just he, he wasn't no worse than a bad parent. And I guess oh, that's what he's supposed to say. I don't think so. He did it on purpose. Yeah. Troy, you don't rack up them kind of bills. And say I wasn't trying to because the first two times they done put your ass out. And when you went to go and be like, well, fuck it, I'm going to just start using they shit. Nigga, you know what you're doing at this point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, it's instances, man. I'm, I mean, just in the grand scheme of things, if a person asked me in the grand scheme of things, I just, I kind of, I wish it could have worked out for one. I don't think he would have been a scammer if he didn't have to be. And I mean, I understand what you're saying. Everybody got control and they got the right. But I don't think if he actually didn't have, you know, some people with millions steal money. All I'm saying is I don't think, I don't think that he would have scammed if he didn't have to get to the point to scam. And I hate he used them little boys. But okay, I don't think okay, Joe. Okay, Joe, tell me this. Why did he just do, okay, well, what was the white people on that group in that, in that football team? He did nothing but black kids. Yeah. 
because he knew he could do it. So you telling me that that ain't maniacal thinking? You went for those who you know you know you can get. And why was all yeah, the that's... most the majority of those kids he had, if not all, they was all with just single parents or had no parents. True. He prayed. He knew what he could do. He knew. He knew it. That's what I'm saying. He's not excused. Because I mean, you want to go through all this. You're not, you not you you praying on these kids that don't have there ain't nobody looking out for them. I'm saying. Well, I'm just, and you, I'm just you saying, got, I just think, I just think. And you can't look at those. I'm just hypothetical. And it's this, this is not a hypothetical situation, but I'm just going, I feel like if he didn't have to use those boys socials, I don't think he used their socials and fucked up their lives credit wise just to be a villain. And he shouldn't have never done it. But I just think that he was trying to write something from a wrong. Okay, Troy. So you telling me you trying to write a wrong. If you trying to write a wrong, you don't use them kids social. You go, you go figure that shit out as a man, some way, some way. Because, Troy, because Troy, if something was going on with me or something going on with you, I would never go get my kids social. And I know good goddamn way no, you wouldn't do that. Absolutely not. No, I'll no, figure no, no, that no. shit out before I ever nigga going to get that shit is out the fucking question. But but we're but we're not him. Like he's on the we're looking at him. And the totality of this, and I understand he's an all all the way. Let's just say not good guy, but I don't think it's a hundred percent not good guy. He, I hate that he fucked them guys shit up, and I hate that we're in a in a world where they just can't go say, "Hey, my shit got fucked up. Can you can you fix me back?" Now they credit fucked up, and I just hate that America is like that. But why you know, would you even go, go for that shit? If he, you know what, Troy, it would have showed me he cared a whole lot more if he didn't want to use uh use his credit. His mom and them credit, his his cousin them, not them kids. I get it, man. That 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 was a very that was the most fucked up part about the That's whole thing. That's fucked up. Like, dude, if you really look, if you want me to feel sorry for you and try to at least try to see something about like you was really trying, then you would let them kids out of it. Hundred percent. Leave the kids out of it. If you really trying to show you trying to do something, leave them kids out of it. You would have you would have tried to go get. I'd have felt a whole lot better, Troy, if he didn't win and got all business loans, payday loans, all that shit in his own name. I get it. If he'd have did that, I had more respect. Mortgage off your house. Say, you know what I'm saying? I get it. If you do that, I respect you, man. Like, that nigga was trying, man. He he put all his shit on the line. What did they say? Fuck it. Give me your... This nigga got goddamn payday lo- loans. Man, come on, man. A PPI, whatever you call them damn thing, he was getting in them kids' name. Man, no, man. Like shit, you, you didn't exhaust all your shit. You weren't really trying. You went, we went, you went for the gut. You went, you went there. You went straight for the throat. I know, and I swear I understand exactly what you're saying. I'm not I'm not trying to justify him. All I'm saying is at the end of the day, his crimes towards those boys, and I can't really compare R. Kelly or Larry Ness, because they was preying on they was preying on people hurting them. And I'm not even saying that his is even a less of a crime because it was white collar, but he didn't hurt them. And there has to be something said in life if you do something and you're not aiming to hurt anybody. He did not hurt anybody. Now, I hate, I what, he his, I hate, I hate what he did to that homeless man, and I hate what he was doing to his wife and I, uh, his old lady. I think he should be dealt with but for that shit. How he didn't hurt them, Troy? Some of these kids will never be able to buy a goddamn car. They'll never be able to to get a fucking decent apartment. They can't. You got eviction notices on your shit. I think that's he, just as much as America fought as it is his. They know I mean, he shit. they know he fucked it up. I mean, okay, they do know it, but at the same time, but it's fucked up because of something he did. I get it. He did. Like you got these kids that's 17, 18 years old with he, with multiple eviction notices on your shit. I mean, you okay, we all know what America is, but nigga, you can't have that shit on there. That's just like having all these goddamn cars and repo on your name. You can't do that. I got you. Everybody know what the rules is in this world, so he went for their shit, not his own. Yeah. That's a monster. Look at it, little Troy. Yeah, but look at man. We're going to go and wrap it up right here. I think we did a good job tonight. Yeah, yeah. I hate it was so heavy-handed here, but we good. We'll come back. Yeah, we'll get it back. All right. All right, bro. All right, man. Yeah. There you go. That concludes this episode of The Wormhole. Join us next time to see what shit goes in the hole and comes out the other side gold.